Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball six box half case picker team number 14. Uh, the second half of the case that we popped open not too long ago. Uh, let me update the schedule a little bit. We did the filler plus optic PYT number 14. That should take us to about the top of the hour, maybe a little bit after the top of the hour. So we got a little time to do another break if you want to, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, there's the final printout. Thanks everybody for getting in. Now, if there's a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in that team random that we did not too long ago, where we pulled the remaining teams out of this break and then turned it into a random team break. So it's a little bit of a hybrid. Oh, and Gary got last bought mojo with the Jazz in this pick your team, random team, hybrid sort of break. Now remember, we marked all those boxes 14, so we know it's from the same case. And let's see what we got. All right, good luck, everybody. Um, NBA training camp, the preseason's about to start, I think maybe in a couple weeks or so, which is exciting. We're getting to, we're getting to some, uh, getting to some basketball. We'll start to see the, uh, I think we'll start to see new basketball product for the upcoming, uh, for the current draft class. I guess this now becomes last year's draft class. So we're going to start to see that. So that should be pretty exciting. I guess the big news, I don't know if there's any other big news going on right now, but Ben Simmons digging in his heels, saying he's not going to play for the Sixers ever again. He wants to trade. He wants out. Now, the Sixers, I think, kind of explored trade options over the summer, but ultimately they were, they were I think most teams are saying they were asking way too much. Now, I don't know what happens now. Is it too late to trade Ben Simmons? You know, but has Ben Simmons just tanked his price now? Sixers just have to just have to get rid of him at a cheap price. Everyone's like, everyone's teams are pretty much set. Free agents are signed, salary caps, and blah 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 blah. And per the collective bargaining agreement, I think guys that were traded over the summer can't be traded again until like October or November or something like that. So it's not like it's not like people can make trades right now unless it's just for future picks and non-traded players. It could be, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Olmos is not impressed with Ben Simmons. All the talent in the world hasn't developed a shot. Well, I think the Sixers were hoping that he would develop. Oh, nice LaMelo to start things off base. I think the Sixers are hoping that he would work on that over the summer with Joel Embiid, kind of work together, blah, 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 but, but now they're stuck. I don't know what they do. There's LaMelo for Sean Maddock and the Hornets. Got the Hornets straight up. I have a container here. I'll just grab one later. I don't know what they do. There's Luke Kennard orange to 199 for the uh, Clippers former Piston, and there he is. There's Ben Simmons right there. I don't know what happens to him. What's going to happen to Ben Simmons? Let me hear your thoughts. There's Malcolm Brogdon, Lion Green for the Pacers to 149. That'll be for Arthur. Luke Nard Clippers, that'll go to David. Uh, all cards ship in this. King of Potatoes. So all the Zions, so all the second year Zions will go to you. And this Jared Culver will go to Emery, who got randomized the, uh, the Timberwolves in this. Maybe we'll find his teammate in here somewhere. I, Oliver does bring up a good point. We kind of said that about, about Shaq, right? All the talent in the world. But, but Shaq's a little different because... 
we knew what position he was playing in an era where, you know, there was this, if you have a seven foot big man, you know, you're, you're, you're playing that kind of basketball. But I mean, I guess that's how much basketball has changed. There's seven out of 99, Duncan Robinson. Shaq never had to develop a shot. And <laughs> he dominated in the paint. There's Alfred Payton, 14 out of 59. But nowadays, I mean, everyone has a shot now, right? But yeah, I mean Simmons is not. Let's let's not. You, Oliver's sticking with it. You you can. It sounds weird, but you can. Oh, ben Simmons is not Shaq Oliver. Hollywood says sit Ben out and make his value go down when as a free when a free agent. Well, here's the problem, Hollywood. He signed for like four or five years. So he's already he's already getting paid. I guess I guess if he doesn't play, he won't get paid. But but it's not going to help his. I don't think free agency really matters here. It's about leverage. What can what can the Sixers do? Can they actually get any value back from it at this stage of the season? If you just find him for the rest of the year and then try to move him later on, I don't know. the narrative is, is a little similar there you know disagree you know doesn't play well with another star on the team trying to force his way out of town but but uh, but you know I mean I think uh, I think he was more of a Shaq was more of an established star and a scoring threat at that point Ben Simmons is not it's not really in the same, I mean, he's not really in the position to be trying to force his way out. He sits out of basketball that he's done in basketball, but how does that help the Sixers, though? Because now, now the Sixers, as, as an ownership, you have to try to get something back for Ben Simmons. That's the tricky part. There's Kenyon Martin Jr. to 149, Lime Green. And Shang has the Knicks gets the rookies Obi Toppin. It's Kyrie, eleven out of ninety-nine. Oh yeah, and the green Kenyon Martin Jr. goes to Oliver in the Rockets. It's Keldon Johnson, twenty-three out of thirty-nine, and a Dante DiVincenzo for the Milwaukee Bucks. Sean Maddock got randomized the Bucks in that team random. Yeah, if you're just talking strictly about the situation, I, 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 like I said, I can see the, I can see the the narrative. But as players, no, I don't, I don't, I don't see that, Oliver. Sorry, I have to respectfully disagree. I don't think anyone's confusing Ben Simmons' first handful of years with that of Shaquille O'Neal. Out of 199, Paul Millsap, Denver Nuggets. Derek, the Anthony Edwards rated rookie base going to Emory. Got randomized the T-Wolves.
Well, I wonder what uh, is PJ Tucker to seventy nine. I wonder what is that. I mean, if 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 you argue that that he just need that that Simmons needs a change of scenery. You know, PJ Tucker for the Rock. That's for you, Oliver. If it needs a change of scenery, you know, then where is that change of scenery? What team wants to take a? Uh, what team wants to take a, a a player like Ben Simmons? I mean, I don't know. I'm looking at Shaq's stat right now. In his third year, when he was 22, he 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 was a league leader in uh, in average points per game, 29.3 points per game. In his third year with Orlando, I mean, Ben Simmons is not even in the even in the in a, even in the new NBA. You know, Ben Simmons is not doing the equivalent of that. I think. I mean, Shaq, even even in those Orlando years, it didn't work out with Penny, but I think people can tell that he was a pretty special player. Ben Simmons, I don't know if he's shown that yet. And in the modern NBA, where you do have to shoot, or in the, the current NBA, where you do have to shoot and be a competent shooter, he's got to work on that one way or the other. Emery thinks he's going to end up here in Minnesota, there in Minnesota. They constantly talk about on the radio. But who does Minnesota give up to get Ben Simmons? You almost have to cater to Ben Simmons' playing style a little too much. Unless he works on that shot, but I don't know if he's worked on that shot. Like Lonzo has worked on his shot. Lonzo's shot looks very different from what it looked like in his first year. Has Ben Simmons put in that work? I don't know. Maybe he has. I have no idea, but I feel like we've heard about it. There's Donovan Mitchell to 99 for the Jazz. Gary. Emmanuel quickly for the Knicks. Shane. Seventy out of 99. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, I mean, that's. I think that's the frustrating thing with Ben Simmons. I, I, I can see where that talent is. But it just hasn't unlocked yet. There's Trez, Lakers edition for Sean Maddock. Who's unlocking it? Who is the Phil Jackson to unlock Ben Simmons? There's Jared Culver, 002 to 149. I mean, that's a small list if you're talking about, you know, a Hall of Fame coach. Jared Culver for uh, Emory in Minnesota. And Isaac Okoro Hollow. Yeah, Joe saying Gordon Hayward, Dominator's autograph for Charlotte, Sean Maddock. Maybe we'll find his teammate. Um, yeah, if it's Wizards or Blazers, yeah, neither. I feel like, what? I mean, so that's what I'm asking. Like, what team? Let's, let's, let's not think about. Let's not think about maybe, I guess we do have to think about trades, but it's 14 out of 49. What team, what team fits? Hollow Desmond Bain for Memphis. That's going to be for, I think, was there a Xavier Tillman back there too? That's for Travis in Memphis. I think Joe Joe makes a good point. I feel like at this point, the Sixers maybe would have to think about about eating salary. 
to make Simmons go away. I mean, you, I guess you can keep finding Simmons, but it just doesn't does Philadelphia no good just to have that distraction on that team, at least longer than a season or half a season. So Giannis Hollow. I don't know how much that is in the secondary market, but he's a champion now. Right, Nick Nurse, Raptors, could be the right coach, but do they have the assets to move? It's a very short list on, on, on where Ben Simmons could actually succeed. Mitchell Robinson to 99, 79. Pink Velocity for the Knicks, that's gonna be for Shang. And Keldon Johnson for the Spurs, Coppola. All right, halfway through this half case break, maybe Miami, maybe Miami actually, that's not bad. Spolster could probably figure it out. Pat Riley and Spolster could probably figure it out. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like they don't want to. I feel like they feel like they have a good team, right? Do they want to mess with that team? Maybe they do need a Ben Simmons type. Who's scoring on that team? Duncan Robinson. Yeah, I mean Jimmy Butler's another player that that is that is great, but a playmaker, but maybe not the not a shooter that they need. Right. Yeah, you can't trade Siakam like Ol Olmes was kind of suggesting. Maybe Siakam, but I don't know. Yeah, who scores? Lowry's gone. Yeah, Ben Simmons is not yet that kind of scorer. Yeah, Fred Van Vliet, maybe. See, it's kind of it's kind of hard here. I'm going to bring up uh, the NBA t list of teams or standings. So here's here's the standings from last year. That's just an overview on the teams, right? Well, Sixers, no Nets. I'm just gonna go down the list of the Eastern Conference standings, each of the conference standings. Nets, no, right? Could the net, I mean, that could be interesting. Kyrie can shoot, KD can shoot. What if the Brooklyn Nets grabbed them? I don't know what they could give, but. Bucks, no. Knicks, New York Knicks. They've got a bunch of youngsters on that team. Maybe they can move a person or two. Yeah, Knicks could be interesting. They might have to move a player or two and, and if Philadelphia eats a little money. Atlanta, no, I don't think Atlanta wants him. Miami Heat, no. Celtics, I mean Celtics are kind of starting from Right, Bradley Stevens is in the front office now. They're trying to kind of reconfigure that team. They're trying to figure things out. Pacers, maybe? Short Charlotte Hornets? Can you imagine LaMelo distributing to, to Ben Simmons? Melo would have like 15, 20 assists a game. With Ben Simmons slashing to the basket. Come on. It's Tyrese Maxey. And Brandon Clark, orange to 199. Tyrese Maxey for the Sixers. Share the Sixers. Bulls, I don't know. Bulls, Toronto, Cleveland, don't know. Magic, Cleveland? Maybe? Magic, no. Pistons, no. Yeah, Joe's saying, the, Joe Christian's saying it's got to be a team that doesn't need shooting. What teams don't need shooting? It's Keldon Johnson to 149. Who went a redemption?
Nikola Jokic, 99. And Arthur Sears, maybe thinking John Wall? Do, that? Do, do the Sixers want John Wall, though? Are they a John Wall away from a title? Maybe. But there, I feel like there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of mileage on that, on John Wall. A lot of money, too. Right, no, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I passed by Orlando pretty quick, Joe. Brody's asking, what would be better to get in this, numbered rookie cards or hollow? I think, I feel like, well, both. But I feel like people really do like the hollow in the long run. Where's my playing card here? All right, we got a rated rookie signatures. I, Emmanuel, M, Emmanuel, quickly. New York Knicks with that one. Sheng with the Knicks, got the Knicks straight up. Top loader dust in there, but there you go. Um, that will be for Sheng. Picked up the New York Knicks straight up. Two boxes to go. Okay, Western Conference. Who needs Ben Simmons? Jazz? Mm, no. Suns? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Nuggets? No. Clippers? No. Mavs, no. Maybe? No. Maybe? Trailblazers, no. Lakers, no. Grizzlies, no. War Warriors? Spurs? Pel Pelicans? No. Kings? Yeah, Warriors, maybe. Kings, yeah, Oliver's a Kings guy. No easy answer for Ben if he came to the Kings. Bagley Peel, 20, 23, first rounder. Kings win, yeah, that could be interesting. OKC, Houston. Arthur's convinced that the Sixers will trade for Wall, buy him out. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if they're pushed to, I mean, I don't know if they want to do that, Arthur, but I mean, at this stage of the season, maybe that's the quickest option to just just pull the ripcord on, on, on Ben Simmons and just get out, you know? You don't like the super team garbage, Olms? No sport in the world does that? Real Madrid is calling you, Olms. Barcelona's calling. Manchester City is calling you. A lot of soccer clubs calling. Dodgers are calling you. Yeah, I think Warriors would be really interesting. He doesn't have to, he doesn't, I mean, if Clay Thompson and Seth Curry are healthy, Ben doesn't need to shoot. He can just slash to the basket, move around. You know, just let the other guys shoot and he can just, he can just be a playmaker, just a big size mismatch. But what, what do the, what, who does, uh, who, who do the Warriors give up? I mean, are they trading like a Weissman? No, you can't trade Weissman for Ben Simmons, or do you? There's Tyrese Maxey. Autograph, nice, rated rookie auto. If Ben Simmons is gone, might be more minutes for Tyrese Maxey. Jer Zhang with the Sixers. That's true, the Dodgers did trade for those guys. Yeah, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe Arthur, you're right. The, the, 
there's got to be the it's got to be a rip the band-aid option i don't know tyrese halliburton and ben simmons that could be an interesting pairing we'll have to see i'm very curious because i feel like it was kind of quiet all uh, all summer long you know there was like will they won't they trade him they're asking too much blah 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 and then all of a sudden boom Ben Simmons digging in his heels. He wants out. There's Miles Bridges, 99. Now it's tricky. It kind of kind of puts the And I I'm 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 pretty pro I'm pretty pro player. You know what I mean? I'm always on the player. I'm rarely on the ownership side of things. But, but that being said, you know I do, I do kind of feel bad for the Sixers ownership in front office. You kind of put them in a in a weird position. There's Aaron Naismith. I'm not sure what the Celtics are doing, but here's a hollow Aaron Naismith. He might might see some playing time. There's Lemon Pepper Williams. Lemon Pepper Lou, 84 out of 199. David with the clip show. Joe, Joe Locus, what's going on? Just rewatched the certified break. Had Niners and Jets. Got nothing except the case hit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's not, not too shabby, right? Congrats. There's LeBron, there's James Weissman. Yeah, I guess OKC does have a million draft picks. Do they want to start that? The, are they rebuilding around? Uh, let's look at their their depth chart here. Are they really going to start building around uh, Ben Simmons? They wouldn't give up Gilgis Alex SGA, though. I feel like, I feel like people love SGA out there. That's up to you, Holmes. Is anything close to breaking? Or is this the last break of the night? You tell me. You tell me, Holmes. If you if you buy spots and something fills, it doesn't have to be the last break of the night. That's all. That's all up to you. I guess you can move Dort, right? SJ's got to go for Ben. You don't think draft picks alone will do it? Sixers, bad leverage spot for the Sixers. OKC doesn't have to do it. You know, they can just be like, whatever, just, just take a few. Yeah. Lamelo Ball, pretty big name. And if he has if he has a strong start to this to his second year coming up in what, in about a month, I guess. Game one starts for basketball. If he has a hot start, first half of the season, the price of those lamellos will, will, believe it or not, go up. Right, four years left. If I'm OKC and Philly goes, hey, SGA, Dort, two, two number ones, I'd be like, nope. You're taking one of those players and two number ones. I mean, I, OKC has all the leverage. Ben Simmons is forcing his way out of Philadelphia, so Philadelphia has lost leverage at this point. saying OKC okay, so can't attract free agents. So this is how they get a star. Is Ben Simmons a star, though? Is he putting butts in seats in OKC? Does he fit in OKC? Oh. 
Machado might have had another home run. Third of the night. Just missed it. Jeez. Giants Padre still tied at five, ladies and gentlemen. Dodgers won tonight. They're a half game back of the Giants. If the Giants lose tonight, it'll be all tied up, I think. At the top of the NL West. All right. Back to the basketball. Last break or last box of this basketball break. Here's Westbrook on the Lakers now. I want to see how that works out. But he's back in L.A. Happy about that as a Lakers fan. Michael Porter Jr. to 149. Lime Green. Uh, for Denver. It's going to be for Derek. We got a uh, hollow Grant Riller. Another Anthony Edwards and a John Collins Black Velocity, 16 out of 39. Douglas Warden with the ATL. And we've got a Rocket, 73 out of 99. There you go. It's one of the guys that Oliver Soria was looking for, Jay Sean Tate, who showed some, uh, showed some glimpses. Not consistently, but showed some glimpses of what he could possibly do. Him and Canyon Martin. There you go. Dominators autograph. Rookie auto. And there's a base rated rookie, Anthony Edwards, for Emery and the T Wolves. I like his game. Anthony Edwards is exciting. We got a the rookies, Anthony Edwards, T Wolves. Wrote the rookies insert. Also for Emery. We've got an Isaiah Stewart blue. One out of 59. Nice little color match there for Detroit. Coppola. Yeah, Houston that does have a good young squad. Jalen Green. Um, I, who's, I don't know who that second guy is. Sen, Sen Gun? Sen Gun? Christian Wood, though. I, li I really like Christian Wood. Ooh, and a hollow James Weissman. Emery with the Golden State Warriors. Strong. Nice. And the last little bit here, we got Mo Bamba, Orlando to 199. And Kevin Durant, Elite Dominators. And the Mo Bamba will go to Orlando. That's going to be for Travis. All right. Hollow James Weissman, some Anthony Edwards, Jay Sean Tate, Tyrese Maxey. And Emmanuel quickly redemption. Hayward Edwards, DiVincenzo, Jared Culver, and a base rated rookie, LaMelo Ball. Not a bad break at all. Pretty strong stuff. Keep your eye out for more Donruss Optic Basketball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.